Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this series I am planning on uh, working to a call, through a convolution network to a very simple convolution network and show you guys how I exactly a convolution network is formed. I'm going to use TensorFlow, Python um, and uh, in the previous video I have downloaded the data set and went through it. In this video I will plan on making the models, hopefully the time permits. Uh, and I have downloaded the specific things that I would need. Hopefully I don't need anything else. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, uh, so the first thing I've already seen through the dataset. So I have, I will just see the see the count of the how many uh, items are there in each of the folders. I'm not going to use the test folder as I've said in the previous video. I'm going to only use train folders. I'm just going to, going to gonna go through all the uh, training, uh, like how many of them. So to do this, simply this is bothering me so simply just for files in uh, os.list directory and i will pass in the training so, so train yeah train i am going to use the counter i do it like this there i i'm sure there are easier way to do this but i i have to practice my um codings like this so yeah this is c plus equals one so it is so it's printing c every time it's not gonna do it like this yeah 25,000 images here as you can see just gonna keep this because it's gonna be necessary i think all right so next step would be to process the data set and make them make them make each of the pictures smaller in size and uh, one thing i've learned my like you know experience in doing like convolution or like dealing with computer vision images is that <coughs> excuse me uh the color of color sometimes matters and sometimes for a specific problem the color doesn't matter so color is not exactly a deciding factor whether something is a cat or a dog uh what could be a deciding pattern? Uh, what could be a deciding factors are patterns, specific patterns that a dog or a cat has that makes it, you know, like you know, separated, differentiable. So, um, so the color is not a factor. So we are not going to, as I have like shown you in the previous video, that the, each of the pixel, pixels has RGB values, like three values per pixels, or red, green, and blue uh, amounts. That contains in pixels, but I uh, but using only one pixel that is that means grayscaling the image uh, makes it very easier for the neural network to like you know process the things much more uh, like like you know faster. So what I'm going to do is to like put everything in a dataset. I think yes, put everything in a dataset array and also make uh, like you know. Um, numpy uh, file so that like uh, we can access it uh, other times or I think um, uh, let's let's just make a data set so just gonna make a empty array called data and uh, we are going to like you know loop through everything here so for files in OS of list directory we train I'm going to, sorry going to iterate through the files so I am going to save it as images so to convert it into like black and white we can use the cv 2s uh, library here so cv2 cv2 convert to grayscale so we can see the exact uh, thing here so install number blah 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 we do convert uh, RGB to gray. So yeah, this is this is what I need. So I am going to like exactly copy these three lines. So paste it in here. Okay. So <clears throat> so this here will take the input of C to the path to join. I and it will join train with sorry train with files, and it will read the things. And before it reading I will all will also resize image so it's cv12 dot resize it says this image to supposing the 100 by 100 so yeah like making every image is 
size of 100 by 100 and reading the images here and saving it to the variable image. And later then I'm converting this image to grayscale so using the CPG uh, color uh, BRG, it's not BRG exactly, it's gray, so RGB to gray. Hopefully it works, I didn't change anything. Uh, okay, so when I like convert it, I am going to append in the data structure, I think. Hmm, should I do it everything together? That's the question. Mm, I can append it here. Like, I can do it like this, and I will can append it like uh, np dot array and do it as array. Yeah, I, I can append it like, but it's gonna what it's, what it's gonna do is like it's going to append all the images into a single data like single file. But in my train folder, it has like two things. One for uh like there are like cats, dogs, and also I have to like you know split it into train and tests. So the train test split doesn't exactly split it out for me. Uh, let me just see the train test train test split from scikit-learn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need scikit-learn as well. So the array tra test size train size shuffle stratify. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is not exactly um do I have to do that like uh I can take the split uh how do you split the things against like split text split string python yeah there is the function I always forget this split yes Split the syntax uh, separator. The separator in our case is the dot. I think if I just show you the values, it's cat dot thirty five. So I'll just um, yeah, I'll just use this string dot split and the separator, and it will return. Uh, <clears throat> let me just you know, test it. What it will be. I think it will return an array. I'm just gonna open a new block here and test it here. So yeah, it returns the x, the x, what is stored here, it returns an array, uh, how it is separated. So in our case, if we just give it our the file name here, supposing the cat.1.jpg, it will return, it, it, uh, it did, okay, yeah, we have to separate it by, by this one, by a dot. So yeah, it gives me an array and I am going to need the first one. <clears throat> so. Uh, what I'm gonna do is to get the label. So, so the label equal you know, label equals the files, which is the file name that I'm getting. I'm gonna I'm going to use the split here, split it by dots, and I am going to take the first value. This will be my label. So I have to check if the label is uh, label equals cat. And uh, as my, uh, I, I will use a different thing, like, I'm going to use, mm -hmm. let me just think. So if the label is cat, the, my, my, my plan is here, if the late cat would equal to an uh, array of something like 0, 1, and a dog would be a label column that is like uh, 1 comma 0 so that is what I'm going to do so for this I think the best would be that using that um, if the label is cat I am going to use I'm going to append something to like the image the label would be and array This one? Yeah. Uh huh. I think, yeah. The entirety of this is not a numpy array, but. But inside it are numpy arrays. So, yeah, I'm appending it inside. If I label it. Then use a train test split and then shuffle it. It's gonna stay, yeah, yeah. 
lf label equals sorry dog i think it is uh, labeled as dogs let me see so just dog dot yeah so if the label is dog we can use data dot append uh yeah i can just copy this thing it's gonna have to change the one thing here which is one and a zero yeah that would make the entirety of the data set i'm not going to shuffle it now because i will use a train test split just gonna you know hopefully there aren't any problems here it's gonna uh split into 100 by 100 mm -hmm. yeah Mm, in by syntax mm. interesting so yeah oh uh okay so this does not take two things so what i'm going to you know make it an array of yeah this one okay still it is not taking oh no by array no by of uh this would be the thing Okay, I'm giving too much here, right? Uh, this one, maybe one, then this two, this to stay. This needs to go. It needs to go as well. Yeah, now it works. Sorry about that. Maybe I'm going to cut all this out of the video. So yeah, while it like you know gets all the things in here. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I will you know take out take down this test train split, and I'm going to have to you know down. Uh, import the scikit learn library as well here so scikit learn with mole selection trace test and split yeah import import mm, from let's just gonna use from scikit learn dot mole selection Scale and roll import import test train test split train test split yeah this is it so yeah done it yeah I I will like after you know pull after you've put this data on here you should always print out the length to see all the data have uh, like you know being appended inside of this data folder like data uh, array taking a lot of time yeah 25,000 good we can match it here that's why I said it would be like it would come in handy anyways uh, so yeah it's 15 minutes already so I'm going to have to like you know pause this video moving a bit too slow hopefully in the next video we are gonna be done with the model creation and we'll dive into the testing the training the model so yeah hope to see you there thank you